What's up, guys? Welcome back to Roblox Talk. Let's look at the Buccaneers' defense this time against the Saints. Yes, we lose. They just didn't do enough on the money downs, the third downs, right? So here's the first drive of the game, third down. Uh, we, we got them where we want them. Let's get one more incompletion, hold them to a field goal. You see the edge rushers drop back into a little zone here, middle of the field, and then the outside guys are all man. So you see man-to-man -man on, the, on the outside. So as we go through, you get some pressure from Devin White and Levante David, middle of the, of the defense, doing A-gap blitzes here being disruptive, getting in front of uh, David, David Carr, Derek Carr's face, but it's just not enough because that gives Jawan Johnson time to stop on his route, cut back inside. Yaya Diaby is covering his little inside zone. He's That's too much to ask for an outside linebacker to cover that space. And just good connection right there. You can't get mad at it. Uh, Dean Laney just needs to be a little bit more aware and not allow that to happen. But again, it was 7 nothing starting the game, not looking good. This, this is just great route concept, and the Saints called the Bucks out on this. So this is a perfect run against a man defense, and that's what you're going to see. Just man across here, one high deep safety. They're hoping it's going to be a man. They're hoping they're not going to drop back and do something because if they drop back into a zone, probably Jamel Dean's sitting there waiting for that ball to be an interception. But they send the pressure. You see all the guys coming in. You got side, six guys going in, so it's a blitz. Man across the board. This is just a natural pick play. Uh, Jawan Johnson is just going to go slowly in front of both these guys. And then you have Taysom Hill running behind him. And just Antoine Winfield can't stick stick with him because there's a guy in front of him. You're just blocking the path of the receiver or blocking the path of Antoine Winfield. Throw it to a spot at the pylon and he can wait on the ball because Winfield's behind the play because he just couldn't get there, right? So it's just a good play call, time play by the Saints. I mean, I can't necessarily get mad at it. It was good execution by the Saints. The Bucs weren't executing. That's the biggest deal to me in this game. Uh, here's another third down conversion by the Saints. They drop back into a zone. Yeah, so it looks like it's going to be a cover three zone. You have three deep defenders. You have four guys uh, dropping in the middle here to cover short area, right? So in, in the intermediate. So you got these guys in the intermediate, right? And then you have Zion McCollum, D. Delaney, and Antoine Winfield covering the three deep zones. But they, Derek Carr just read it correctly. What's opening up, right? If if Izian has to sit here with this short defender, the outside should be open because Zion McCollum's dropping back. So he just read what's in front of him. That's what an offense should do. Read what's in front of you, let the defense give you the answers, and just throw the out route for an easy conversion of first down. Not necessarily wrong by the Bucks defense. Like people would say, well, why didn't Zion McCollum stay here? Well, because he's assignment based. He's supposed to drop back. The quarterback just read it right. Pressure didn't get there in time. Too much time to throw the ball, and he could read the defense. So the pressure needs to get in to help out your secondary. The secondary needs to help out the pass rush by holding them a little bit longer. This play, no one gets home. Again, there's only one high deep safety. Look, shaded one side of the field. Their car probably reads that immediately and sees, okay, let me not go towards the, the best safety in the NFC, even though he didn't get Pro Bowl. I don't know how the hell that's possible. So let me just immediately look the other way. Where there's wide open space. And then you have Ryan Neal, one-on-one. -on -one. Holly should have stayed with him, bumped him a little bit more. He just leaves him off. If if this isn't a, a bad throw, like a really hard catch to make, that could be a touchdown. If he catches that in stride, that's nuts. That's a wide open player. That is terrible defense by, in my opinion, by Ryan Neal. That can't happen. Devin White, maybe got to keep pressing back, to get in that deep zone a little bit more to help out, but he's wide the hell open. Winfield covering too much space, asking him to do too much. And that's just reading the defense. See, the guy was wide open. This one, to me, this is like Derek Carr going to the hardest option. Like you have Levante David middle of the field. You have Antoine Woodfield coming down from his deep safety spot. You have two high deep safety here. Uh, so they kind of do a transformed cover two look. It starts with these two safeties here. And then Jamel Dean kind of covers up for Winfield as he drops back into like a little short immediate zone. We got two guys covering this guy. And that's where Derek Carr throws it. But look at everyone else. I feel like this is an open option. This is an open option. Everyone's kind of keying in on him. Their car still threw it there. Um, but either way, it's a first down for them where we're just a little too soft with our, our zone coverages. I mean, we got too many guys breaking open. I mean, even this guy, if you do a levels over that, I'm, I'm trusting you can get that over Devin White. Devin White's not the best in zones, even though uh, there is one play in this where he actually did get hands on the ball, should have gotten an interception. But it is what it is. More first downs. I hate it. <laughs> it's not looking good for the Buccaneers. Here, they're just attacking the outside linebacker, falling back into the zone. You got a guy that usually only pass rushes, Jer uh, Marquise Watts, drops back into coverage. We're looking for a short little zone, intermediate, right? 
just get it to the guy that was getting you the first downs, converting left and right. Jawan Johnson catches it. He's behind the line of gain, right? He needs to get a little bit more. He just breaks the tackle and gets after it. Uh, we need to get better game tackling. Marquis Watson needs to do a better job of holding him there. Can't allow that to happen. That's you got to get a little bit more effort. That's probably why he's not on the field as much as other guys are. This to me, third down and eight, and you're trying to stop the clock. You're trying to get the ball back for your offense. Devin White getting blocked by the center, I believe it is. Watch as this breaks down. Time. He sees what's developing in front of him. He needs to get off this block. He needs to either get off this block or immediately know I need to get down into that lane to prevent this running back from picking up the first down. That is way too much space. He ends up getting to him a little too late. Yeah, recovery speed. He's always known for that. But he's got to read this way faster. That, that can't happen. Like, if you're trying to get back in the game, that can't, can't happen. And, and it did. And that's why they end up ultimately losing. Here is where some of the good stuff happens. Okay, this is a sack that should, never really got a hand on the guy. He just walked out of bounds. Why did this happen? You have the pressure coming in immediately, right? JTS, everyone wants to say he's doing bad, but look, he got inside, inside pressure. When they use him inside, he's pretty good, actually. He gets inside pressure, forcing their car to roll out. And then what do we have? Secondary, doing their job. Yeah, guys are getting open. Derek Carr doesn't, hasn't been consistent, legitly consistent all the year. They have guys open, but he just couldn't read it well. So he had to get him on the move. Getting pressure is the biggest thing that's going to help this defense. And then Levante is the most consistent player we pretty much got. Check him out here. He's literally calling out what the play is. Watch the screen. He sees it. He's going after it himself. Getting out of the block like Devin White doesn't. Gets after it. Gets the receiver as he catches the ball. Down right there. Levante David, great job. Pettiness with pressure, right? Here we go. Another pressure play. Look at all the pressure coming in. Look at all these down guys. Coming after you, Devin White and they get blitz. That's the way you use them. Getting in the face of Derek Carr, throws this. This is just good individual effort by Zion McCollum, staying with the tight end here in his in his zone and making it harder on him to turn back shoulder to try and catch it in completion. And here's the one I was talking about where Devin White gets a hand on the ball. Probably could be an interception here. He literally reads it the whole way. Derek Carr staring down center of the field. It's an easy read for him. He drops back into his coverage. They're going to the tight end all day. Literally, this is... Nice cream cup, right? Just grab that, pick it up, get it for your offense. Let's try and get back in this game. Drops it, but either way, it gets it an incompletion, gets it back to the offense. This defense needs to do better with pass rushing. I know they were getting the ball out fast, but you got to find a way to force decisions and get off the field on third down. Other than that, guys, let us know down below what you think. With that said, until the next one.